Uh, thanks to Chemexon. Uh, basically, GVK is one of the largest CROs in the world. We have over 2,000 people in uh, informatics, medicinal chemistry, biology, clinical pharmacology, and clinical research. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about the GVK Bio online SAR database, which is quite popular and has the relationship with uh, Chemexon. So in our informatics group, we are very well known for the manual curation of databases that we do. We have about 500 scientists. And the GoStar database aims to integrate all these 15 different databases so that any query will give you results against all of them at the same instance. And then you can go and look at the individual queries and do your analysis. So the medicinal chemistry journals have about uh, 100 medicinal chemistry journals that we cover. So people talked about ChemBell, which is a small subset of this database. But for the popular targets like Kinase, GPCR, et cetera, we have also captured the complete chemical space in that we also covered all the patents. Uh, we then have two PK databases, one on the launch drugs and one those in the clinic or were in the clinic. And then we have a mechanism-based toxicity database as well. And in addition, a natural products database, uh, West Stuart Schreiber recently published. All these have been integrated into one platform. Overall, we have manually screened about 2 million patents and 600,000 journals to get to the 5.2 million inhibitors, of which 4 million are unique, and 15 million quantitative SAR points like IC50, KI, KMs, et cetera, that we have. Uh, the database is constantly updated. Uh, we have both the uh, online and the in-house versions of these databases. And of course, several publications have uh, featured our database. Uh, I don't think I'm going to spend too much time on each of these databases, but uh, the MedChem and the target databases aim to capture the chemical space associated with all targets. The two PK databases are the clinical candidate, the drug database, and then we have one on the toxicity. And as I mentioned, now we also have the natural products. Uh, we have more than 250 unique data fields. One of the challenges, of course, is the ontology, which we use to standardize ontologies, but have also developed our own in some cases, like in assay space. Um, I'm not an expert in any of these, but I'll just tell you that these are based on the publications and I'd be happy to share those with you if you come by to the stand. Uh, most of the pharma industry and academia have published different areas that I've listed here using our data, either using the online or the in-house uh, versions. The online version, which is where we uh, have the ChemXon integration, uh, you can search using multiple methods, such as the structure, the activity, uh, just the bibliography or the status of a compound, and even uh, with the selection of a database, so you can either select one database like a kinase, or you can do a search against all the databases and they export the data in multiple formats. Um, these are just, these slides are not very clear, but uh, just to give you an idea, what you see up here is actually, I just did a search and it gave me the hits on each of the individual target, the PK and the TOX databases. So the benefit is, for instance, if you were working on a kinase and you suddenly saw hits in all the other databases, you may be looking at cross-target effects, which you can evaluate very easily. Uh, you can also filter the results down because you tend to get a lot of hits uh, by frameworks, scaffolds, skeletons, and of course, uh, we have also built in several analysis tools like the activity analyzer, the heat map, the property space analyzer, Etc. all of which you can do online uh, even without taking the data in-house, although our larger customers tend to use it in-house using their own tools. Uh, we've been working with ChemXon for a while. Uh, we use a lot of their tools, and now we are exploring uh, adding on some more of the features given the popularity of this particular product in ChemXon. Um, I did have the publication list, but it's not in this presentation. If you'd like to see it, you can just come by and I can share it with you. Thank you.